with some news. My name is Mike B, aka Phony. Today's date is October 7th, 2022. The time is three. We are early today. We're early today. We were hanging out for a whole hour beforehand. A little bit late, but YouTube won't notice. <laughs> How is everyone doing? I'm joined by my lovely chat. First Friday of of Halloween month. Spooky month. Spooky games are coming up soon. We have, uh, this is like our third, maybe fourth week of news in a row. And we're somehow coming up with news to talk about. Things are actually ha happening. Happening. Spooky games are hover handing us. I hover hand everybody like that. <laughs> That's how I take pictures when I go to cons too. <laughs> I'm always like, like the, the most obvious hover hand shit, you know, just, just hand completely outstretched and straight. Yeah. Uh, Bandcamp Friday. Is it Bandcamp Friday? Oh, it is the first Friday. Yeah. There you go. If you haven't bought my music, bandcamp.com. NeggyPH.bandcamp or AKMIP.bandcamp. But there are some things happening today. Starting today, TwitchCon started in San Diego. Um, the, uh, the one in Amsterdam happened, what was that, like a few months ago or whatever? Uh, and one of the first things I see come out of it is this. And I thought it was pretty funny. There are some stories here to it. We're going to fill it in, but just by itself. Hilarious. The who kind of Twitch con. I actually have a friend there right now and uh, giving me some uh, uh, some insider info. You know, I was like, I need some dude on the on people on someone on the ground, you know, check things out for me. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, the sign you probably saw this sign that said no streaming. And so I asked my friend who's there. I said, hey, like, what's the deal? Like, because it was hard to really verify yeah, Shrimp is there too. Um, <clears throat> but it's hard to verify, like, can you stream at TwitchCon when you look it up and then you just get, like, a whole bunch of, like, stream, TwitchCon, Twitch, stream, Twitch, stream, TwitchCon, whatever. You all these combinations of things you don't you didn't want to fucking find. So I asked him. I was like, you're there. Can you just verify for me and look? And he said, well, basically what it's like is there's no streaming in certain areas of the floor. And that the day before which is when this picture was taken, uh, there were no, there was nobody that was, they didn't want you to stream a, a thing. Well, the assumption is that they don't want you to stream things while they're being set up, right? Like nobody wants to see, no, they don't want to basically have leaked like things that are not done yet, right? Unless it's by Twitch themselves. So I was like, I was like, dang, because it would have been fucking hilarious if you couldn't stream at TwitchCon. So I was like, damn. Uh, but there are people streaming, they're at TwitchCon right now and they're streaming. I mean, this is the category of, uh, did he go live? Oh, well, he was live. <laughs> uh, here we go. Started three minutes ago. So yeah, there are people there that are streaming, walking around, uh, checking out the con. Uh, I don't really know how many people are in attendance or anything, but I, you know, I said my friend that's there. He said that the crowd tends to skew pretty young, uh, pretty young. So like, um, like VidCon basically. Like VidCon is typically pretty young crowd. I'd imagine it's probably uh, it's probably a really young crowd because like Dream is there and all these other like you know uh, um, more. Oh boy. Oh hey, that's the fucking dude. <laughs> uh, but uh, that there are just you know lots of um, uh, uh, streamers who have a young skewing audience. You know like XQC or something like that. Uh, it's the XQC con this year. Yeah. Well, I would actually argue probably Dream has as many people there, maybe if not more. Uh, is it just Mike and the old guard are just old now? What's that for? Um, well, wait, is, well, yeah. I mean, when we, I felt old when I went to VidCon. Uh, Lindsay and I went to VidCon uh, earlier this year. Hold on. Let's like, listen to this real quick. Or this year. Sorry. A couple years ago. Listen. Can we do the end again? This is one. Do the end again. All right. This is uh, Brian on the street. This guy, how funny! <laughs> Dream the faceless guy, yeah. Uh, you've been watching, yeah, so many IRL streamers. Like, yeah, there's a bunch of uh, people just walking around. I mean, there's plenty of streamers that are streaming right now that are just watching, just like watching the live streams and everything. So yeah, there's plenty of uh, there's plenty of video content coming out. Um, no, no controversies or anything yet. It seems like it's going pretty smooth. People are saying that the um, uh, that TwitchCon was pretty good. Oh, sorry, TwitchCon party, the partner party that happened at TwitchCon last night was pretty good went with you know pretty smoothly uh yeah i know it's only the first day they just opened the doors like literally like uh five hours ago they opened the doors so it's <clears throat> yeah i mean they do have some i mean like here check this check this out here it's gonna close that window uh they do have some pretty cool gigantic setups that they're working on like a huge fucking pog here um 
<laughs> so yeah, I mean, as you'd expect with a lot of uh, with the conventions, they always try to go ham on like some kind of on, like these features and everything. Like, if you ever been to a, uh, if you ever been to like BlizzCon, they have like all these like huge life size like statues that they put up that are amazing, absolutely incredible. Um, someone hurt themselves badly on the Twitch Rivals thing though. What? What happened? I didn't see anything about that. Um, wait, how bad did they get hurt? <laughs> Like, is it worth talking about, or is it, ah, it's emotional damage? <laughs> uh, there have been, there have been some leaks. Zach Bussy's got this one here. Um, uh, this one's uh, seen in the Luke Cave at TwitchCon. So, potential, potential new Twitch logo being announced, perhaps, maybe. Um, somebody said that looks like Clippy, and I thought that was just fucking hilarious. Hilarious. Uh, and also, completely over the heads of anybody that's at TwitchCon, because they're all 12, and they don't know what Clippy is. So... <laughs> <laughs> on its on Elsa, ankle broken, dislocated, Vod was taken down. Ooh. Ooh. No, oh, hold on a second. There's probably a clip though, right? Let me see. Let me go to LSF real quick, see if we can pull it up. Um there's footage. Oh shit. Uh can somebody link the footage uh for me? Yeah, because I don't see it. I don't see it right away here. Clippy is here to help. Twitch ain't, so it'd be really fun. Yeah, there's a couple other... Uh, yeah, here we go. So here's the logo again. Uh, looks like... I don't know what the scribbling part is, part is, part of the design or something. But yeah, I mean, it seems pretty obvious that, that this is going to be the new logo that we're going to see. So, so, prepare your pitchforks because there's going to be a lot of people mad that it looks like this. <laughs> that they changed it. Um, but yeah. Let me see. Uh-uh-uh-uh. Pitchfork's ready. Yeah, exactly. No one got a link to this footage or something? Come on. Come on. Looks like a, like a D almost dream is taking over Twitch. Yeah, like a D for dick hole. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's definitely it, man. That's definitely it. Not my Twitch. Yeah. That's what we're going to see. That's what we're going to see. Lots of uh, that. Nice streamer hobo jacket. <laughs> <laughs> no change, just the same. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, because it's different. It's different. <laughs> but the biggest complaint that I've seen, uh, also this is from Zach here, um, brought us to my feed, is that the halls, the difference in the size of the halls are pretty dramatic between um, uh, here at TwitchCon, uh, US TwitchCon versus EU TwitchCon. So this is, uh, this is Dream... Um, and I guess like his, his like crew or whatever, or another crew. And they're like, they, they would normally pull over here in the EU, like huge crowds, huge, huge, huge crowds. Everything's bigger in the U S except for this stage. <laughs> but yeah, this is Twitch kind of Amsterdam. You can see they have the main stage here for all these people. Whoa, that's a link and a half boy. Let me see. Let me see. This is the uh, the uh, event here. Uh oh, is it gonna play? Oh, it's probably one of those things that wants to. It wants me to remove the uh, my ad block. Let's see. Let's take a risk. Let's take a risk here. Let me see. You gonna you gonna do it? Nope. Nope. Doesn't want to play for me. RTMP player. Let me see. <clears throat> oh, you grab from there, my man, my man. Here we go. Well, why, why it works here, not over there. So what happened here then? What was the event even? It's Balloon World Cup, and here we go. Ooh, girl with the behind the back hit. Oh, be oh, they're playing. Nice uh, oh, I remember this from last year. We may have an injury in this. Oh no! We're gonna take a moment here. Oh God, that sucks. What happened? Ooh, girl with the behind oh, the just jump. She jumped over and just just landed wrong. Oh, that fucking sucks. There we go. Yeah, look right here. Let me get out of the way. You can see she. You can't see it. There's no. It doesn't. It doesn't snap or anything. She just rolled it weird. But still, it's all it takes. Look at right over, and then she just lands. Wow. Oh, that sucks. No, no, you don't see anything. You don't see anything. But it's fine, though. It's fine. We, we don't have to, like, harp on anything like that. It just sucks. <laughs> but, uh... <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure she's gonna be fine. Ro either it's rolled and it'll recover or... Uh, or what. But her ankle's popped out. What? I didn't see... It. Her ankle was popped out? I didn't see that much. It looked like she just rolled it. She was holding it. I'm sure it's probably... Is it broken? <laughs> Is there a lawyer in chat? 
<laughs> I have to read the Reddit. Oh shit, man. Okay, okay, dang. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, that's not pointing the right way. Oh. Oh. Which streamer shouldn't be allowed to do physical activities that's also broken? Oh dang. Whoa. Look when the guy attends to her. No, I'm gonna take your guys' word for it. I'm gonna take your guys' word for it though. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go and, and dig or anything like that. Well, we we've shown enough. So yeah. So it's first, first technically first injury, first reported injury at TwitchCon <laughs> this year. <laughs> I told you it's been mostly uneventful. All right, a rolled ankle, or I guess a broken ankle. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty serious. Uh, just put some dirt on. It'll be fine. Yeah, there you go. Just put some dirt on it. Drink some whiskey. It'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, man. I wonder if she won. <laughs> like, at least. At least, right? At least, you know, maybe. Just gonna give her the win. Uh, that would hurt for a few days. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to review that footage later, too. Just curious. You know, just curious. <laughs> just curious. Uh, what a trip to the hospital. Hey! Somebody somebody in uh, chat here says, uh, also, I don't think that Canadian health insurance covers injuries outside of the country. It doesn't need to buy travel insurance for U.S. trips. So I guess she's Canadian. Um, and I didn't know that. I didn't know that if you suffer an injury outside, I can't. Yeah, shit. <laughs> they really dropped the she left it all the court type speech. <laughs> Uh, just tell the people you saved the world with Mike. She got a broken ankle with Mike. Broken ankle. That's right. See? See? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like I said, overall, I mean, besides this, it's been a pretty uneventful Twitch con for the past, you know, for the whole five hours that it's been live. So, <laughs> day one, broken ankle. Oh, man. Depends <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you have travel insurance a lot. Yeah, that's what, the, that's what the comment says. You have to have travel insurance for that. Uh, you said a pick of the ankle. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> Unavailable Overwatch 2 release awful. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, in other Twitch news, I mean, we there is uh, there was a um, uh, 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 the global talent recruiter. This was uh, somebody who worked at Twitch who um, would basically manage and help recruit the like some of the biggest streamers. Uh, ended up leaving Twitch, and this happened earlier this week. Obviously, overshadowed by everything else that's going on. Uh, but JP had a little bit of insight. He says Jay was a part of the team responsible for signing every major talent on Twitch in the past couple of years. Incredibly smart individual, passionate worker. It sucks. Um, and so this is I actually I. I think I've met this guy actually. Um, but yeah, he left he left this week. So this is just kind of like, you know, just add this to the list because we've had people that have been leaving recently. We had the director of uh, the, well, it was misattributed as the director of the uh, VP of content or something like that. She had some other position, but she left the day that uh, Dan Clancy made the announcement that they were going to be steering away from uh, the 7030 and going to 5050 for basically everybody. Um, and then that's when that person left. And so, so Twitch has definitely been uh bleeding talent instead of bleeding purple lately so something just to kind of keep in mind because there's a lot of other stuff going on so we'll see uh if that trend continues but <clears throat> there was another game released this week that overshadowed a lot of stuff <laughs> and that was overwatch two two there's a two in there so it was the it was the least hyped. It seemed like it was like the least hyped. I didn't see any ads or anything really. Uh, uh, launch. Nobody really talking about it, but um, but it did have a rough. It did have a rough a rough start for sure. Uh, first first there was, and this has been largely almost resolved. Um, there was this issue with a phone requirement that was being uh, added for anybody. It was initially anybody who had who wanted to play Overwatch to period and they would not accept phones a uh, phone numbers from certain prepaid plans like mint or something so this was a big deal because there's a lot of people that use prepaid services for their phones for whatever reason right not everyone's a drug dealer probably has some other reason um and so this was an issue because it's not like okay well i don't want to pay 150 dollars for a phone service so i could play overwatch too and so this was this is what this is where the angle of punish for being poor came out but blizzard did make a response uh, they did have a response to it, it says um it says uh, any overwatch player with a connected battle.net account which includes all players who have played since june 9 2021 will not have to provide a phone number to play so june 9 2021 um <clears throat> people who have played since 
So anybody, if you haven't played Overwatch since Jan June uh, 9th, 2021, so a little over a year ago, a year and a half ago almost, um, then you'll have to provide a phone number because they don't, because maybe you change as a person, you know, maybe you changed. Uh, Usually it's cheaper in those services that are now with a major company. Oh yeah, of course. Um, Overwatch, the original. So yeah, they did come out and they say they're going to put in some changes, but they were kind of vague. They described the service and what they, you know, how, you know, what they're, why they're doing this and everything. Um... Uh, but they were kind of vague with exactly what they were going to do or what, what was going to qualify as a, as a phone number that counts basically. So, uh, yeah, again, the biggest problem was the, you know, the, the issue of having to use certain prepaid plans or something, uh, kind of dumb. Honestly, they shouldn't require phone numbers for people who have purchased the game before. Yeah, for sure. But you know, they want to collect your information. They want to make sure you guys have phones. <laughs> so the next time they say that shit, they'll be like, nah, we know you have phones. You got to have phones. <laughs> uh, on top of that, they were suffering from a DDoS, which could have been partially because it was malicious. Could have been also because they had a lot of people trying to play at launch day, um, and so that was causing fucking massive queues, massive queues for people. Um, not as much as like the average Final Fantasy fourteen player, but still a respectable queue. Uh, you use me? I don't. Uh, I didn't know that means I'm poor. Yeah. See. See. See, you poor now. You poor now because you use mint. <laughs> I don't want to give my number. After I was 40k in Q, waited three hours, played five minutes, then got bumped back to 40k in Q. Yeah, there was something else going on too this morning. I noticed in the subreddit where um, people are saying that they were they were waiting 40 minutes or whatever time in the queue, and then when they get in, they had to wait for their quick match. The quick matches were not uh, quick at all. It was like another 15 minutes or something like that. It's fucking crazy. Queen funeral queue levels. God damn. <laughs> more people waiting for overwatch 2 than the queen's funeral <laughs> uh so uh, there's been some funny stuff that's come from it I, I posted a little compilation here of just like some things i've noticed around around the community of people talking about their experience with overwatch 2 uh and and largely it seems that people are, are upset are upset right i don't want a company to be like oh it sucks i haven't played it you know i'm not gonna play it. i'm not gonna install it anytime soon uh <clears throat> but you know i don't want to come and just bash it. i'm just saying that there's a lot of people saying a lot of things and a lot of them provide some kind of evidence but this one there's no evidence of but it's a good story couldn't launch the game so i took a walk to the pub and found a fellow named kevin playing at the trivia night by himself we joined forces and got fourth place it made me smile when we were laughing and having a hoot and he said aren't you glad your game wasn't working so thanks overwatch 2 for giving me the opportunity to meet kevin a true hero <laughs> out there making friends with q waiters <laughs> cures <laughs> so the reviews the reviews are mixed the reviews and now the reviews are mixed uh largely i see this right it's like so far i've watched two is a clever but underwhelming free to play compromise blizzness minded kind of like that it's pretty good okay get them edward um edwin my bad <laughs> Kevin the Giga Chad, uh, but for the most part, I think people are upset that you know their initial game, their Overwatch One, is now like gone and it's replaced by a game that seems to not necessarily carry over enough upgrades or changes to really justify that. Um, Heroes never die; they just get put behind a paywall. So there's, uh, let me see what else. Oh yeah, there's there's obviously bugs, there's issues, launch day stuff that you could expect, but also something you don't really expect. Like there is this thing that popped up here that I've seen mentioned a few times. So be careful, there's a chat bug that can cause unexpected purchases and Blizzard won't issue refunds for in-game currency. So let's just take the first half of that because the last half is their, that is their, um, their, their, um, excuse me, a policy. Uh, but the first half is what we're really concerned about. The fact that in chat, you could just, <laughs> so, when you use a chat in a game, sometimes, right, make trigger, like if you if you do to type something, you don't hit like the enter key to start typing first or T or whatever your activate chat function is, and you just start like hitting keys and it activates stuff. Well, apparently while you're in the chat window, um, in the hero gallery only, uh, it registers those keystrokes as, I guess, like commands to operate the UI. And that has led to people accidentally purchasing <laughs> accidentally purchasing other characters. Let me see. I have, I have another one here somewhere. Somebody accidentally bought one. Um, working as a that twenty dollars skin through the uh, though for the new hero only a jacket changes. Yeah, I have that here too. Um, I mean overall, yeah. There's there's overall Overwatch. Overall, there's definitely uh, a number of 
of even the small glaring things that people have issues with like like this this was a i mean this was a point made by somebody who's just maybe looking for things to complain about but they're saying doesn't this screen look really low effort to you and you look at it and it's like you know i don't i don't, I don't see this emotion i'm sure there's these squares probably float around or anything or something um but like <laughs> People are spawning their own their own uh, uh, versions of it too. There we go. Made this in three minutes. Bam! Um, oh yeah, here's the other here's the other link I wanted to show you guys. This is the one that shows uh, or where somebody said that they bought. This is actually bought the Hammond bundle when coming out of practice range, put me in debt for some reason. So these have negative currency. Um, Overwatch two free to play math. And do not browse authors. Do not browse authors profile. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Christ. Thanks, man. <laughs> Uh, oh, I've heard this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I did the math for how long it takes to grind enough weeklies to buy everything Overwatch 2 right now, 550 years. Yeah, that's right. But that's that's to grind. That's to get, like, and well, you know, you can unlock characters with that, too. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I hear him browsing, browsing them right now. Um, let me see. Yeah, so here, here's a, I mean, gosh, there's just so many. I mean, the, the fucking forums, the Overwatch 2 forums are just on fire right now. Uh, it says it feels empty and non-rewarding to play. Uh, it's people are just talking about, yeah, removing the aftermatch screen with medals was a terrible idea. Same with leveling. Even if the levels didn't mean anything, it was nice seeing some sort of progress being made. Apparently, there's like, when you finish a match, it just dumps you back into picking another match in the menu or something. Uh, and also, there's no... Uh, there's no screen like after to show you I'll show your achievements and all that but there's no um or your I guess your, your score um but there's also no uh character progression or counter progression outside of the battle pass progression yeah you, know, you have season pass you could grind out things or whatever you pay for the opportunity to grind out things um let me see uh there's I mean oh God I have a fucking list I have a list I don't even know if I got Iris sent me one something this morning I don't know if I got that but like here's here's an example of Ash character going into a T pose something that was probably uh, missed by QA. Boop. There it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, say this is a character person detailing. This is the most the greediest uh, um, uh, battle pass ever. And again, this is echoed by a lot of folks. Uh, wait, Jeff Kaplan, 18 hour made it's not as able to know what they're doing. <laughs> I think Overwatch 2 is just a Q simulator. Make Overwatch great. Uncle Jeff had enough. Is that wait? Is that his actual tweet? No way. No way. <laughs> uh, Mr. QA, they're playing. They even have QA. Yeah. Oh, man. What is this one here? Uh, this was the micro microtransactions are actually insane. This person, I think, goes through. Oh, I, I, I'm missing a link where somebody actually goes through and uh, and details. It was actually kind of a it was a, a, a constructive criticism um, post. But even when you look through the criticism, it was like, wow, these are glaring issues that should have been resolved prior to launch. But, and it's hard to look at it and say, well, it's a game, it's launch and everything, because that's what I want to say. It's a new game, it's launch, but they're they're pimping it as like it's an upgrade to Overwatch 2, Overwatch 1, right? Or not upgrade, is that it's that it replaces that. So you would expect it to be at least as stable as that for the most part. Um, but this was something, this was an issue that a lot of people reported. Define new. I, th I think that's what Twitch, what uh, uh, Blizzard's doing. They're redefining new. That's what they're doing. Um, this was an issue that came with a lot of people that the aiming was super weird. Uh, some people said that it has something to do with the dynamic, dynamic render scale, uh, uh thing helped. Uh, there's a couple other things people have said that had helped and there's people that said they can't get it to work at all. Um, so you can't go back to the good wish. Yeah, you can't go back. It's like Warcraft three, exactly like Warcraft three. You can't go back anymore. Overwatch, uh, is not on my battle net anymore. It's just gone now. Well, Overwatch one. Yeah. It, you have Overwatch two now, right? Well, I mean, I think it's still Overwatch to EXE, so it hasn't really changed. Um, it just, it, man, it, it, the game is out. It does, it, I'm, I'm seeing that people are, in, some people are enjoying playing, but nobody's really saying that they've added enough content to make it feel like it was worth uh, being Overwatch 2. Um, but what was the, there was another complaint that I heard that I thought was pretty valid. I can't remember right now, but uh, I don't care about tech issues. Tech issues to be accepted at launch. That's fine. Those will be fixed. The only problems of gameplay and the upgrade stuff. Yeah. Hey, there's, there's, there is also the, yeah, that's right. There was another, um, I guess a skin or something that like a legendary skin and this thing moves so fucking fast. Like, oh, well, I, I don't know where anything's at now, <laughs> but there was a skin that, uh, Two different skins one was a legendary one and it basically just added a jacket or something and i can't find it now but still 
Uh, the, the forums are just not happy. The forums, uh, the the official forums are not largely not happy. The Reddit's not happy. Twitter seems largely not happy, satisfied with it. Could be that everyone's just hating on Blizzard, or it could be that they've shown us once again that they suck at making games now. <laughs> I fucking suck, man. Like, I mean, maybe the game is like fun or something for some people, but oh, here's right here. Considered legendary. I was looking for a different picture. Um. They never learn from Reforge. Yeah, here we go. So why is Kariko's uh, athleisure skin considered legendary? The only difference in her jacket is her jacket. And so this person, yeah, goes in and shows. You know, the, yeah, it's basically the same. These are the two. Ah, the reason for the two part isn't even until... Yeah, is, there was supposed to be PvE too. Is there even PvE in this? Like a whole campaign and all that stuff. Did they even bother with it? Or did they just say that at the beginning to make it to make it sound like it was a deal and then just like pull pull that? Maybe it's going to come later or something. Like in the form of a battle pass or something. No PvE till 2023. Bro, like, come on. Stupid. Then don't release the game. Don't release the fucking game. You know? That was like one of the biggest things about it. It's like, oh yeah, it's gonna add PvE. Whatever. But don't worry, guys. You give us money for PvP now, yeah. They really just want to make money with the re-release. That's what's happening here. I mean, we'll see when they release the campaign. I mean... I'm already checked out of Blizzard, 100%, you know? But I'm, I'm, well, I'm sure when they release the PvE elements of the game, it's probably not going to be particularly good. Uh, and maybe I'll eat my words on it, but, I mean, judging by their past performance, it's probably not going to be that good. Uh, definitely not worth an extra year waiting. People are not going to be happy with that. Yeah, there's no way. There is PvE now because it's been two and a half years since the last content update. Yeah, this is the content update. Congratulations, everybody. All right, people, stop giving them money for this shit. They might start getting better quality products. Nah, are you kidding me? They're going to just keep on, like... They have plenty of people who are paying the bills. But they don't need the rest of us. They don't need the rest of us. The only thing where... The, and you know, it's funny. Like, I remember having this conversation on, like, Twimo. Where... We are talking about free-to-play games. And my... I remember my contribution to that was that... People are the content. In free-to-play games, people are the content. Like MMOs, right? Because that was what we were talking about in Twimo, right? This week in MMO. Um, uh, people are the, are, are the content. The whales end up supporting everything else. The ones that go and pay for everything, it, you know, they're basically paying for the stuff, but the experience is from the content people, the people playing the game. Um, <clears throat> and so... This is this is kind of like that to the extreme now, where now companies are just saying, well, fuck all these guys who want to play a free game, right? Like, just fuck them. We don't need to pull all these. We don't need to give them progress. We don't need, they don't need features, right? If they don't want to pay for it, they don't need features. Uh, and, and and they're just like, but they still have the whales. So like the whales, and we've seen this with Diablo, right? Like where like the people who have a fuck ton of money and they put it in, they have these crazy characters. They can't even find anybody to play anymore. You know, which is not the case here, obviously, because we're talking about cosmetics and everything. But still, uh, we just need a few whales, guys. And that's kind of what it sounds like is happening. They're just like, ah, this is, wait, we'll get a few whales. You know, we'll pay the bills. I mean, Diablo 4 made billions, man. Uh, not billions, but it made millions of dollars so far. Um, month after month, making just fucking hand over fist money. Uh of course they're gonna they're gonna milk that for as long as they can. They're gonna keep doing that. Yeah, I, every game is gonna from Blizzard's gonna be doing that. Oh, oh, did I say four? Sorry, Immortal. Sorry, 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 Immortal. My bad. Um, and yeah, so Diablo Four. Like, I'm afraid of what Diablo Four is gonna bring. <laughs> I really am. Uh, their their anti toxic is AI is great. Uh oh, let me see. This is a great transition, by the way. Good job. Like, I mean, like, I, that probably goes fast, but I don't fucking know. Jeez. Also, that's the cue to get into another queue, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's the cue to get into the queue to start. Yeah, yep. 
Ah, don't give that guy a damn. It was literal aim hacks. Was he? No. Was he cheating? No, 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 no. Um, but 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 speaking of the AI or whatever, uh, so they do have a um, <clears throat> they do have a voice a voice recording and transcribing feature. So that when you, uh, oh, soldiers, alt, sorry. I thought you meant like literally using fucking cheats. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so yeah, so this is, so their, their new thing, they're calling it the defense matrix because of D.Va. Um, and what they're doing is uh, they are recording your voice comms and transcribing it and issuing, um, <laughs> uh, and issuing, I guess, uh, uh, disciplinary action based off of those logs. Um, and so the, 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 the issue here is like, you know, one, not everyone's got a good clear mic, you know? <laughs> so you might get, you might get nailed for something you didn't do. Um, but it, they say they don't keep your voice, like the voice recordings, not that it would matter. They just have the transcription and all that stuff. Uh, but be warned we might this story might come up in the future uh where we have people who are getting banned because they said i'm gonna go grab a snickers right <laughs> it could be the end yeah uh the opening ceremony is what is talking to overwatch peeps ah fuck it who cares <laughs> How dare you, Mike? I'm just saying, though. Like, I mean, it's a fucking... It's this transcription. Every time I talk to Siri, okay? Fuck it. Or, or Alexa or any other... Or Google, they can't understand half the shit that I'm saying. What makes me think that Blizzard's got the shit figured out? <laughs> they don't. Don't say anything. Yeah, don't say anything when playing Overwatch. You just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Look at the Mario subtitles yesterday by Google. Exactly. <laughs> They're just kind of got nobody using it. Yeah. Is that that thick Mexican accent? That's what. <laughs> There's a lot of data to shift through. Hell, even chat log bans take days or months. Leak. I can't imagine game voice moderation. Well, they said that it's automatic. I mean, that says in the article here that. Uh, uh, that it's something that they're going to. Yeah. So here's how you can enable voice uh, voice chat recording. Um, why they're watching recording voice chat and yeah, it just talks about why they're doing it. But yeah, it says they don't keep it. They said they transcribe it. It goes to text log. And then from there, Blizzard will automatically check the logs for any offensive language and will automatically take action against you. Automagically. <laughs> I just said Windows transcribes your voice and, uh, and you said, I'm a, I'm a sandal. See? See? <laughs> I don't even know what I said that could even like translate to that. Some with an ECU accent accusing cheats will sound like shitting. Yeah, see? Exactly. Exactly. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, if there's no voice log to go back to, right? Right, Blizzard? There's no voice log to go back to, then there's no proof that you didn't say that word, right? Hmm. That's kind of the same company that is banning people in a while for guarding towers and AV. No, man. Oh, no. Come on. Why? Why? Yes, the program Overwolf might or is making a voice plugin for Overwatch. Is it Overwolf that's doing it? Oh man, I used to work with those guys. That's crazy. Man, they come a long way. That's funny. It's funny as fuck. Um Well, 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 uh Overwolf not a fan. I love the concept of Overwolf. The old concept of Overwolf was fucking awesome, which is why we wanted to work with them. What we wanted to do at the time, it doesn't matter now because Zam is dead. Uh and so is their predecessor or the successor. Um implementation not so much. Yeah, so what Overwatch is or is or was, I don't know if they still do this, but it was basically a way that you could have a single uh, a single screen and have everything on it, like chat and all that stuff. And it was on my on your screen, not on on the stream screen, but on my screen. And so it was for people who like used uh, like laptop or something to play. They could still have things open like picture in picture uh, or in an overlay. Uh, and it was different than like, you know, typical video picture in picture stuff that we do in like in games where like, you know, uh, you, you probably get a YouTube video or something up. It was different than that. Like, that was available, of course. But what we wanted to do with Lol King, uh, the League of Legends site that we had, was we wanted to... Um, have it so that whenever you go into a match, the over the overwolf uh, uh, display would be able to determine by using OCR uh, what character you had selected, and then it would pull up a guide 
that you know the top guide or something that we had on lol king for that uh for that champion so like and this was in like 2013 or 14 so this was like a really good idea at the time right <laughs> uh but yeah like i said conceptually it was great but you know implementation i can't remember what happened with it i think we all got fired uh but yeah that was kind of the end of that <laughs> hey Over overwolf's still around hey there you go they basically have that with opgg now yeah so okay that's what they're whatever they're doing op.gg is what we would have done with them you know years ago um you use the New World minimap plugin on it, and they, they told us to consider cheating, and you could get banned for it. The reason why is because it has, well, I don't know about now, but probably because it ha it's not just an overlay. Like, it reads the screen. And that was the biggest thing. We didn't think about privacy at the time. We were kind of like, whatever. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, the, the fact that it has OCR, it could read the screen. So it, could, it could do things. It could pull up information, you know, immediately. Uh, great concept. Very minority report, right? That was kind of a whole thing. It was like, oh, cool, man. Let's pull up info on top of your screen. It's fucking sick. Anyways, cool to see those guys are still around doing things, though. Um, moving on. There's no transition to this. I cannot believe we have, like, a fucking recurring segment on the show about cheating in chess that is like not at all related but associated with anal beads uh <laughs> so so i told you guys last week that there was going to be a uh an investigation that was going to happen from the play fair or the fair play people um at chess.com well the report is in you, I love chess trauma, dude. <laughs> it is a 72 page report. <laughs> 72. I had to take notes on page numbers, man, because it was so, there was so much information in here. Like, they went ham, dude. They're showing, like, his, okay, time between achieving 2,500 ELO and 2,700 ELO. Uh, let's see, what else we got? We have his, uh, uh, this is ELO change by age, like how old they were when they reached these certain ELOs. And so, what they're doing is they're trying to show that Hans, Hans Neiman, who is the accused cheater also technically confessed cheater but not in any in-person games i'm not going to explain the whole story again but <laughs> you have to go back and watch this shit <laughs> truly the nerdies of sports <laughs> and so they've analyzed so much content so much data that they had on chess.com because they keep records of all the games played online right uh and so they're able to take all this data and compare it and show that he that his growth was uh, a little unusual and but some of it was like oh you know like most people achieve this when they're 16 and he achieved this when he was 17 and it's like some of these things it's like wow you guys are really trying to connect these fucking numbers you're really trying to click these numbers. Um, yeah, guy said, yeah, I cheated, but not in person. Guy's upset that he gets accused of cheating with butt plugs. So, oh my God, the butt plugs thing. God damn. Um, <laughs> so let me see. Let me go to page six. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see, page 14. That was page six. We just double click on that. No, okay, cool. Let's go here. Page seven, page six. Here we go. Um, oh, page five. I fucked up. So page five. Uh, it says, uh, overall, so overall, we have found that Hans has likely cheated in more than 100 online chess games, including several prize money events. He was already 17 when he likely cheated in some of these matches and games, and he's also streaming in 25 of those games. So they're saying that all online games, they can say probably, likely, maybe, probably. Eh, kind of all mean the same thing. It says, while his performance in some of these matches may seem to be within the realm of some statistical possibility, which means it's possible, uh, the probability of any single player performing this well across this many games is incredibly low. In addition to this, the manual review conducted by a team of trained analysts uh, was, in our eyes, conclusive enough to strongly suggest Hans was cheating. Uh, so they, they assume, they think that he's cheating. They think that he's cheating. Um... I am still like not sure. I'm, I, when we watched the interview with him like a few weeks back where he's talking about the cheating stuff, he seemed very forthcoming with his past trans transgressions, um, which occurred like apparently like years ago or some 2017, which for him, he was like 12, 13. Okay. Um, 
And so he said he did that stuff, you know, some years ago or whatever, but he seemed to be pretty genuine with not doing it like now. Um, and so uh, we go to, yeah, here we go. Let's go page 19. Uh, do, 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 do. Look at all these graphs. So many graphs. So many graphs. So many graphs. Here you go. On page 19, um, this is, oh yeah, this, here we go. So several days later, after returning to Norway, Magnus shared in a private conversation that his experience in playing Hans was unlike any game he's ever had. So we, I, we showed this where he made a statement saying that, you know, now he could talk about it. He thinks that there's possibility of cheating. He doesn't want to play with somebody's cheating. cheating. That's why he left the match in the middle of the match. Um, and so it says, uh, uh, he says he emphasized that he has competed against numerous prodigies and players who exert themselves and show great effort throughout a long, difficult fight like this game. And he described Han's level of exertion as effortless and felt he needed he he never had a chance to get back into the game, which was extremely unusual for Magnus, who is known for his resourcefulness. And so, like, I'm not saying that Magnus is kind of a bitch about losing, but like, historically, I feel like he kind of is. Like, so they link all these videos here, right? And we'll pop some open here and take a look. And you could see how he reacts whenever he loses. So this guy, this guy wins. I mean, he just kind of, he just kind of signs a thing, right? And then he gives it to them, shakes hand, and then does he even shake hand? Probably shakes hand. And then he leaves, right? They don't talk or anything like that. Now, maybe this is standard, you know, shake hands, right? Are you gonna shake hands? Okay, I guess we're not gonna shake hands. We're gonna leave. <laughs> uh, let's see, Prague, there's another character, or another character, another person. They already did. Okay, maybe they already did. Um, he's saying that because the reaction from Hans Niemann was not uh, at any point during the match, like it didn't show any kind of uh, uh, emotion or any kind of fear, he just left. Uh, <laughs> he, and maybe that's standard for this, maybe that's standard, I don't watch enough to know better, but um, there he goes, and then he leaves. So he's comparing Hans' reaction, which I'm gonna show that too, of course, with, um, uh, with here he goes, so he shakes hands and then that's it. So. I mean, I watched some of this match and it just felt like a regular match. Most of the time they just kind of sit there and sometimes they get stressed out. You could see them kind of fidgeting, fidgeting or whatever. Uh, so it does make it seem like, I mean, nothing here really felt like out of place for like somebody who won or lost or whatever. Um, <clears throat> for his defense, he could just be a psychopath. I mean, yes, it's possible. Hans could be a psychopath. He could be autistic. I mean, there's a number of things that it could be. Does not have to be that he's cheating. Um... Is he walking weird? <laughs> so there is, oh, do I not have that? Oh shit, I'm missing a link. I did have a link somewhere, it's gone now, of Hans uh, being checked. Oh man, how did I fucking lose that? Um, is poker face and chess cheating? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you for putting that in words I couldn't do. Yeah, is poker face and chess cheating? That's what it seems like. So because, so, uh, so Magnus lost, and he views his opponent as being too stoic or too collected to have won without some kind of assistance. Uh, now, that on top of the rumors already circulating that he's too good for his age or too good for his experience or whatever it is. Um, it's on a subreddit. Can you grab it for me real quick? I had it. I just don't know where I put it. Thank you. Um, excuse me. I don't think this is it, though. <laughs> <laughs> this TMZ one <laughs> gets pre-match booty check. Okay, yeah, this is the video though. This is the video. So he does come up. He does get checked. You can see the check, and you gotta watch. So he does the first. He does the front, and then like he has him turn around. God damn. Um, and just extra. Just check a little extra. Whoop. Uh, <laughs> if he cheated this young, his ass would be molded into to that bad boy already. <laughs> And here we go. It goes down just a, just a little hover. <laughs> so I subscribe to a subreddit called Anarchy Chess, which if you've ever played any chess, you have some vague understanding of chess. Like I highly recommend it. Uh, it is. <laughs> uh, it is. It is just good fucking memes, man. Just good. Just fucking shit post memes. Uh, like right now, they're like hell bent on making the nook a thing, which is like a knight and a rook combined or something. I don't know what the fuck these guys are on. But anyways, yeah, like there's <laughs> of course videos like this show up. And they're like, he didn't spend enough time on the ass. Uh, you know, I went back to the document.
document here and I was trying to see if they made any mention of of cheating, right? Or uh, of any like how that cheating happened. So I ch I looked up like <laughs> beads. Uh beads didn't pull up anything zero out of zero. Uh I pulled up uh what else? I pulled a remote and nothing happened there. And then I typed in anal and I got 100 I got 28 fucking things. <laughs> And it was every every instance of anal an fuck analyzed. Uh, I was I was I was <laughs> I was a little taken aback at first, but then I was like, oh, analyze. Because even I always put the space after so I could just find that word. And for some reason, it's still like pulled up. You know, twenty eight instances of analyzed. <laughs> Stupid. Oh man. So <laughs> so the current status of this is that um uh uh. uh Hans is Hans had to create a new account. Hans had to create a new account to basically start over, to kind of start his, his stretch over. There was some private conversations that came up uh, that showed that this was kind of a deal that was made with uh, uh, with the person that runs Chess.com and Hans to kind of kind of keep the uh, uh, discussion to a minimum, uh, where they would where they would uh, uh, delete not delete his account because deleting his account would make that would be a big that would be a huge thing. Uh, instead, they would just let him just close his account and start over. It's kind of a show of good faith that he can uh, perform without using any, or that none of his previous cheating, uh, uh, cheated games would contribute to any to any of his current status. So it's kind of a way for him to uh, to start over. Now, I saw it was mentioned in in uh, in chat. I saw in front of you didn't mention it. I don't want to mention it here too. It's it's also worth noting that Hans, or sorry, that uh, uh, Magnus Carlson did sell uh, his company or, in, or was acquired by chess.com. So chess.com and Hans are technically business partners. So this, this, I mean, if you take this into account, this happened August 25th, 2022. So not even that long ago. Uh, if we take a look at the, oh, that I closed it? I think I closed it. If we take a look at the doc here, some of the first things they said, it says, we were never pressured by Magnus or his team whatsoever to remove Hans from chess.com or evoke his invitation to chess.com global championship. Nor did we communicate with Magnus regarding our decision on these issues before we made them. In fact, Magnus didn't even know we were going to remove Hans until Hans went public with our private correspondence. So, uh, just a pile of money. Though. Yeah, it was $80 million that he sold his company to, uh, or, well, I guess it's not sold because he's, he, it was acquired and he still works for them, but we need to go deeper. <laughs> Well, well, you, you guys are in luck because we do have the technology here <laughs> to do it. This is called Buttfish, effortlessly transmitting Morse code of chess moves to your butthole. Uh, there's also a huge list of uh, of, of uh, compatible um, devices that you can use. Uh, uses to support coming soon. You could use different controllers, Bluetooth controllers. There's like the Nintendo Switch Joy Cons you could use. You could use Nintendo Wii Mote, PlayStation Dual con Shock controllers. Uh, I mean, there's a number of things you could use uh, in order to, you know, cheat. <laughs> Although it does say, it says, this project is mostly a meme. It works, but it's mostly a meme. <laughs> Buffish works for lights too? God, there's a similar thing for Final Fantasy 14? Dare I ask? <laughs> Why? I don't understand cheating is like those ass hats. Ah! Uh, <laughs> and that fishing tourney. Oh my god, the fishing tournament. You know what? That wasn't in my notes, but I do have those. I have those links open. Okay, we do have them. Oh, let me see. Uh, all right. So yeah, walleye derby. Dudes, let's talk about this. little tangent here if we can. Let's talk about this. So there was a, there was a, there's a, there's a fishing competition. If you didn't know, fishing competitions can net hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in in prizes tons of money in sponsorships like the shit is the real deal the real fucking deal uh and so here here's the uh <laughs> i love this guy already what the fuck there's a bunch of videos around let me see if i can find one that's uh that's a uh, landscape at least but no i don't think so everyone's recording vertically oh this one's got uh here we go this this one actually has uh subtitles we'll pull this one up um but one of one, one a, a pair of contenders uh competitors who have won previous games like a previous like competitions hundreds of thousands of dollars were revealed exposed for having uh put weights little like lead weights they're only like a few ounces or something you could see um only like a few ounces 
uh, in the mouths of their catch. You know, they'll pull up the fish and they'll stuff it in. People, now, it was said that people have, we gotta hear this, actually. Everybody listen to me listen right up. now. Everybody listen to me right now. Jake, I want you to leave. I don't want anybody to touch these guys. I want you to leave. He's going to jail. So, the people that are yelling, those are like the other competitors who have, and some of them have already felt like they were they were convinced that the person was cheating and so <laughs> are they going to show it is this the this, i wonder if this video shows it here we go so he's going to slice open the fish and you'll see here slice open the fish and then fucking wait clunk 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 <laughs> I haven't seen so many angry white dudes about a fish since Little Mermaid trailer. That sounds like Trevor Noah. <laughs> but look at this. Some of that too. This one too. Look at that. They just stuff. And also, here we go. Filet fish. Look at this. A filet. A filet fish. A walleye filet. So, so how how is this? How how is this cheat? So when you catch a fish, you weigh it, and that's how you determine who wins, right? So you, like, you weigh it, you get the size, all that stuff. And so when they come in and they show the weight, I mean, they're using actual other fish. <laughs> so they're on their boat just stuffing the shit in. And you can hear people are pissed. They're opening up all the fish. Oh, man. So this was a huge deal. This is the guy right here. I got video. He doesn't say anything. You got anything to say. He just, he just stares. He's just staring. Uh, now... To further add to like the complication and kind of the weirdness that goes on in the fishing sports, in fishing sports, uh, they take uh, lie detector tests, like as an in an official capacity, they take lie detector tests in order to you know determine whether or not they're cheating or whatever. This is common practice apparently in fishing tournaments. <laughs> He knows he's done, and not just on Twitch. Yeah, must have happened to the last person that caught them, and they were uh, were then released. You fucking people over, man. Yeah, I mean, this is years of people that who could have won these tournaments and they've lost because of this. Lie detectors are absolutely unreliable. Yeah, absolutely unreliable. These guys take this shit seriously. Yeah. So yeah, they did take lie detector tests. They've come out and they even said, I don't have, I don't have the quotes because I wasn't really thinking we we're gonna talk about this on news, but, <laughs> but they did say like previously, like, no, we would never cheat or whatever. Oh my God, I love this Photoshop. Fucking hell. <laughs> I didn't even notice this. It's a fucking shy away. <laughs> a lot of these guys do this. Yeah, this is the career. It's like NASCAR. It's like NASCAR or any other sport. Like this is these guys. This is this is these guys' uh, careers, their jobs. Um, absolutely unreliable, and yet the federal government relies on them to give people clearances. Oh man. We caught us a big old weight, uh, but don't they usually gut the winning fish? I don't know how they were going to get away from, get away with it. If they were going to uh, take the fish and I don't know, dump the weights or something. But uh, I mourn for the world when you got to cheat in fishing and chess. Hey man, there's money involved. There's money, you know, like if there's money involved, someone's going to cheat. It pretty much applies everywhere. <laughs> Probably not his first time. And again, that's that's the thing with these guys is that people have been suspecting them for years. I went down this whole rabbit hole with these dudes. Uh, they've been suspecting them for years. And so that's why these guys are so fucking mad because you hear them, they're like, I fucking knew it. Like some of these guys are like, we fucking knew that you were cheating this whole time. <laughs> Ever a little track mania cheating scandal with uh, Riolu? No, I have not. Oh God. I don't have any information on that though. So I can't cover that right now, but <laughs> I would have won last year. Yeah. Uh, no, is that, oh God, I see that fidget cube. I need it. <laughs> I'll link after news. Thank you. Um, just got that email. You can't buy a steam deck. Don't worry. You could just buy somebody's used steam deck. You'll be fine. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, people cheat, but I still don't think Hans did it. I'm, I'm just holding out, man. I'm holding out. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that Hans is just weird, right? Just weird. You know, like maybe he just, he gets up there on stage and like his brain just doesn't process that kind of pressure the same way the other people's brain process pressure. And so he just acts strange, you know, you know, <sighs> hope Hans is just weirdly good. Yeah, me too. I hope he's just weirdly good and he could just, yeah, just, I don't know how you're going to check this dude. <laughs>
I wish I had a link, but there was a CSGO, there was a CSGO esports link where they were like, are you ready for your, like the actual person acting it out with a glove and some fucking petroleum. Look, are you ready for your, uh, for your pregame check? <laughs> To be fair, Magnus is pretty fucking weird when he was growing up. Oh yeah, I discovered I discovered Magnus and and that the whole chess world when the Magnus um I think it was actually called Magnus a documentary came out on like Netflix or whatever, and I was super intrigued by him because he was weird. He was weird, um, <clears throat> and so I was like I was curious about this guy, and then I saw him. He was streaming on Twitch, and I was like, oh shit, he's a streamer now. And so I've been following his not following closely, but you know whenever chess news pops up, I see it mostly because of Anarchy Chess. But, but still, <laughs> uh, but Matt, the Chesters will hundred percent say that chess, that, that Hans is a cheater. Yep. So <clears throat> moving on, moving on. Uh, did you guys hear we have, we have a new Mario movie. Uh, I actually have a clip here. Uh, let me see. Uh, this is, uh, the biggest concern that people had had was the, the, um, the voice Chris Pratt of of uh jurassic world fame guardians of the galaxy uh and you guys heard about it huh you guys heard about it huh uh, <clears throat> uh chris pratt's voicing mario here we go ah uh, hey hey where's the freaking gabagoo uh, uh, you motherfucker you motherfucker huh? don't make me get the <laughs> <laughs> the real voice <laughs> is actually not as impressive. <laughs> We're not gonna play the whole trailer. I will say though that aesthetically, the <laughs> the game, the, the game, the the, the game, uh, the movie looks fucking crazy. Like it looks good. I think it looks good. Jack Black is voicing uh, Bowser. Perfect. Um, uh, uh, I think. Uh, Peel is jo uh, is is voicing Toad maybe, um, and then of course Chris Pratt is voicing Mario. The trailer gave me Lego Movie vibes. Yeah, the snowball throwing. I love it. Yeah, that was my favorite part here. Do you yield? <laughs> I do not. Oh, it's gonna be yeah, okay. Anyways, anyway, let's keep going. Let's get let's get let's get to the Mario talking part. Here we go. Uh, aggressive so you YouTube to the trailer. Okay. Hey, that's all I need to see. <laughs> I just want to hear the one part. Come on. Come on. Play it. Twitter. Twitter video. Come on. All right. Twitter video sucks. Uh, <clears throat> hey, thanks, Zillis. Zillis, uh, it's a me, Mario. What the fuck? Why? Because it's Nintendo. It's Nintendo. Of course. Of course. Uh, you want to hear Daisy, Daisy Rossi, and uh, uh, Rosalina, and then and then Peach Five uh, voices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. The the voice, the voice. We didn't get enough to really make a determination, in my opinion. But some people are already all over it, and they say that they they have their own opinions on it. Let me see if I get this here. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. So it does sound like Chris Pratt, just with a little bit of a weird accent on top of it. Um, <clears throat> this is the real voice. Oh fuck! Oh god! I I, I see this. Yeah, this is good. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. <laughs> I've seen so many of these like remixes of the trailer, but it's good though. That means that there's uh, that there's um, uh, interest, right? People are talking about it. Yeah, ish. <laughs> Uh, Chris, I was like living for Boss Burgers. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. So many. God damn. Uh, you're fine with this? Yeah, it works. It works. Uh, I think overall people are just kind of like, you know, eh, you know, it's pretty good. Is this the actual trailer? Hold on. So did I have two links for the actual trailer? Oh, it looks like I did. Okay, fine. Anyways, I, th I think the overall people are, are, are saying kind of the same thing. Like it, it looks good. Chris Pratt voice sucks because we like to hate on Chris Pratt. Uh, but I don't feel like we have enough of that. French Mario kills it. Yeah, I heard the French Mario one. Sounded like Mario. <laughs> There's no way he could come close to the iconic voice everyone knows to so probably smart to not even try. And I think that's probably, that's the biggest thing that I think all of us need to respect is that he's not trying to do that voice. You know, he's just, he's got his own way of doing it. I'm sure we'll watch the movie. I'm sure it's probably going to be a lot of fun. I'm sure it's probably going to be fine. Um, <clears throat> but, you know. 
at least at least it wasn't like the Sonic movie. At least we didn't get, you know, you know, old Sonic with like the teeth, the, the teeth Sonic. <laughs> which, by the way, if, if you haven't seen the new Chip and Dale movie, which I don't think I've, I've watched the whole thing. I've watched the whole thing. It's not a great movie, but there is some great scenes with the with the, the original Sonic in it. So uh, the French, uh, the French trailer for Mario. I've already played too many Mario trailers. I'm afraid I'm going to get I'm afraid I'm going to get hacked by Nintendo now. <laughs> trying to be careful here uh the danish one they didn't translate mushroom kingdom oh boy um you're gonna watch it tonight in discord wait which one which one the mario trailer yeah oh the chippendale movie oh there you go there you go yeah 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 and yeah uh <laughs> it'll be fine probably moving on speaking to making changes to something fuck fuck bad at this shit ah. we can edit tweets soon some people have it now but soon probably not a big deal to most people for me personally I'm just like listen if you misspell something get the fuck get the fucking just deal with it just deal with it. people who like misspell something and then follow up with a tweet that said oh I wish it was edit button you look so dumb don't do that just fucking own it just own it. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> own up to your mistake. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I make spelling mistakes. I mean, I'm not, I'm not dumb. I'm kind of smart, but sometimes I fucking misspell things, and it makes it makes it live. Who cares? Uh, but who? That's cool. But Lord, there's so much more out there to care about. No, no, no. This is important. You need to be able to edit this tweet, which you can do if, if you are a Twitter Blue member, four ninety nine a month, you have access to this feature. <laughs> The most requested feature on Twitter of all time is the edit button. <laughs> Mike equals not dumb. Note it. There you go. That's right. That's right. Um, they, it does show, and actually, uh, uh, MKHB, MKBHD. Here, Twitter. He does, he does show a little demonstration here where he shows that uh, you can, you have 30 minutes to change. Uh, uh this is, yeah, 31 FPS, blah, 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 and so he posts it, and then you could go through and you could edit it, and it will show, first off, it will reset the um, <clears throat> the engagement on the new edited tweet, uh, but it keeps your revisions, so you can see what the tweet's performance was prior, uh, and you could see whatever revisions and versions that you have, so they have versioning now in, in, in there for, uh, uh, for tweets. So, it's, I mean, it's an edit feature that people wanted. Largely performs outside of the the the, the versioning. It largely performs. Welcome to Git. Exactly. Uh, performs similar to uh, just deleting the tweet and reposting it. <laughs> deleting the tweet is fucking reposting it, man. Jesus Christ. Uh, but yeah, it does count. I get a repo for tweets. This is hilarious. You ain't would have liked that. <laughs> <laughs> Will this be a paid feature? Would not Elon owns Twitter? It's a paid feature now. It's a paid feature now. Here we go. Let's pull this over. So business standard launches this edit tweet feature for verified subscribers. For the subscribers. So you got to pump out that $5. Uh, the response is also linked only the prior to edit tweet. Wait, the response also linked to the... Oh, yeah. Okay. So the responses don't follow. That way you can't change something. Like uh, you can't say uh, uh, pineapple on pizza is good. And then everybody responds, oh, you're so dumb, you're so dumb. And then and then you can edit and say, pineapple on pizza is bad. And then you keep all the all the you know comments and all that shit. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, that, yeah, 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 there you go. I can't understand subscribing for Twitter. There, I mean, there's some features that might be beneficial if you're, uh, uh, if you're like a power user. I use Twitter a lot, but thankfully most everything that I need is, uh, is within the space that I could use, right? Um, so I don't really, you know, the feature set that I could use. So I'm not really worried about, you know, paying extra for anything. I'm definitely not going to pay extra for an edit button. There has to be some other feature in there for me to, to jump ship and pay money. Uh, <laughs> but speaking of paying money to Twitter, uh, Elon, uh, Elon Musk has, uh, has, uh, 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 reignited his passion for threatening to buy Twitter. <laughs> Uh, he says, I don't know what the fuck this guy's smoking. Uh, he says, uh, buying Twitter is an accelerant to creating X, the everything app. I think, I feel like he just makes shit up and posts it on Twitter just to see the reaction and all that. But he does, does say that he's gonna, you know, buy it again or something. I don't know. And the judge clapped, man, would you fucking, would you slow down? 
Uh, so uh, he did say he wanted to buy it, but Twitter, Twitter, oh, sorry, the judge in this case that was currently forcing him to uh, uh, to either um, make a decision or pay pay some fucking fine or something like that. Uh, basically said that he has until October 28th to avoid trial. Um, anything Elon is tied to, I won't be using. Don't like the guy a lot. I don't like him at all either. I'll, I mean, if he buys Twitter, I'll probably still use it. But, you know, I mean, I use Twitter a lot. So it's like, for me, it's like, fuck. <laughs> I mean, I was still, I mean, I was still a U.S. citizen when Trump was in office. So it's like, and I've had, you know, people representing me that I didn't like it before. I still live, I still deal with it, but, uh, but we'll see. I know, but, but the thing is, if enough people exodus, then, you know, then what's the point of using Twitter? What's the point of using Twitter? If people that, that you want to reach out to aren't on, aren't on there. So that's where I would see a problem with using Twitter. Um, <clears throat> so, so a judge basically says he has until October 20, uh, until October 28th, uh, to, uh, to basically pay for it or pays the fine. Um, and there was another, uh, tweet here, which our parents owned blood diamond mine in Africa. <laughs> this, this says, uh, uh, this, this is, they claim, this is Twitter making new, Twitter's making new allegations against Musk. This is they claim an unnamed representative, one of the banks financing the deal testified that Musk has yet to send them a borrowing notice and hasn't communicated to them that he intends to close the transaction. And this is as of yesterday. And if he has to make this decision or makes purchase within the next like three weeks or so, and he needs fucking $44 billion or however the fuck much money it was that he needed to, to buy it i just assume at some point he's gonna reach out and start borrowing this money with the banks that he has set up to do this uh so so yeah right now we're in we're in this kind of holding pattern where we're gonna see if elon plans on just i don't know backing out again or coming up with some other reason why you can't buy it or something or what i don't fucking know what but god damn <laughs> just please please that this this tweet was just my fucking favorite uh, just this one, just from this fucking quote. Uh, what did he say? He said like space is the ultimate Supreme Court. Oh my God, dude. Fuck this dude. Where is it at? I got to fucking pull it up. You guys probably won't even believe me unless I show it to you. Okay. Starlink stuff. Starlink shit is fucking great. Oh, here it is. War is the ultimate Supreme Court. <sighs> even Notch chimes in. <laughs> Fuck, I'm five and this is deep, man. <laughs> I appreciate everything Elon does with SpaceX and all that stuff. I think that's great and all and everything. But man, 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 this guy. I mean, we expect that some of our, you know, some of the most prolific innovators uh, ha are going to be eccentric in some way, right? They're going to be eccentric in some way. Um, and, you know, Elon is no different. If, 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 uh, like, let's say if Steve Jobs had a Twitter account and he was just constant, I mean, he's more, he's more brand focused though. So never mind. He would never say anything on Twitter, <laughs> but, but these past innovators of technology and everything, like they're weird, man. They're fucking weird. You know, they're fucking weird people because their brains are just fucking wired different. And so they just process. That's why they come up with these fucking ideas. Simpsons did it first. Oh, that's right. <laughs> this will literally save your life. Elon got Jaden Smith tweets. Yeah, yeah, eccentric. Must buy Twitter with Saudi money to make uh, to make Twitter the beacon of free speech is the ultimate irony. Yeah, that's the other thing too. I won't even touch that. But fucking hell. Ah oh, man, moving on. Jesus Christ. Speaking of Supreme Court. Just kidding. CDPR laid out a pretty hefty plan of games that they plan on uh, on developing in the future. Uh, one of them happens to be a sequel to Cyberpunk 2077, which I didn't know was actually the first one was done. Is it done? Are they done with it? I thought it was going to go the No Man's Sky route where they're going to continue to upgrade shit like indefinitely. But I guess they're going to work on another game. They did have, there was like an animated series or something coming that, that came out, right? Or something. There was, there was something. I was just going to cheer. <laughs> There's uh, one expansion, one DLC and done. Okay, one DLC and then new game. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One expansion. Um, <clears throat> just do a major DLC. Cool. Edge Runners. Thank you. Edge Runners. So yeah, they're, they're clearly going deep on this. They want, they want to make Cyberpunk, uh, the Cyberpunk world, a... Uh, uh, a more mainstream, accessible uh, 
world, I guess, a universe. Um, the anime is 9.5 out of 10. You need to watch. I've heard that about every other anime that's come and gone, man. I haven't watched any of them. So bad. Uh, <laughs> Android is pretty freaking dope. Damn it. Although, that's one that I would watch. I'm not going to lie. Like I do like those like cyberpunk weird kind of anime things, like anime movies or shows or whatever. Uh, I just love that uh, the, the design that you can get with like, I guess you could say like kind of anime style like mecha or whatever like those things i just get boners over that shit you know whenever they have like this like like any any like video of like a mech like a huge mech like sliding i don't know for some reason that shit is just so sexy to me <sighs> it's just so fucking cool with a huge sword or some shit that shit is that i love that stuff uh but any kind of like sci-fi shit i'm down i'm down i'm down i mean it's gonna be like altered carbon the fucking anime or something right something like that ghost in the shell i have not seen that one yet but you know I know I've seen parts of that, but still. Uh, we have some uh, uh, some watch nights for Edge Runners in uh, on Discord. Oh, cool, good. Do not watch with Declan. No, I know. I learned that with Invincible. So no, I'm just kidding. Is that the name of the movie? I don't know the show. I don't can't remember. Uh, Alter Carbon already has an anime. That's different. I didn't watch that though. I should watch that. Oh, Alter Carbon. I know it makes you sad too. Anyways, anyways, back to CDPR. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Polaris, codename for next song of the Witcher series game, which we recently announced was in pre-production in the beginning of a new saga. We aim to release two more. So this is going to be Witcher, I guess, with new characters, right? New, so it's not going to be same character. Um, whole new everything. Witcher, Canis Majoris, Witcher Sirius. Uh, a new, this is a new, unreleased, untalked about anything game. Uh, Hadar, codename Hadar. So they're basically laying everything out, saying that, hey, we have games coming anywhere, anytime between now and the next, like, 12 to 13 years or something. Uh, better stick to landing on new CP. Yeah, I gotta be really careful when you use these acronyms, guys. You should probably just throw the 77 in front. <laughs> just to be safe. Just to be safe. Uh, I'm stoked for them showing they learned the lesson with CP77. And the game is already, is really good once it got fixed, but it's still not enough. So I think that's the that's the issue that some people are seeing. They're seeing that they're already talking about build, building another game and they don't feel the first one's finished. Now, I'm someone who hasn't played the, uh, uh, the current game since launch. So I don't know how far it's come, uh, but we know that if they announce it now it's probably not going to be another like like 10 years or something like that before we actually see a release of this title so they have plenty of time to work on it they'll be fine don't worry um let's see i saw someone say they didn't have faith in cd pair working on half a dozen projects at once since they had problems doing two projects simultaneously before uh, uh see everyone will mod Geralt and uh Geralt and uh siri I mean, they had plenty of time to work on the last one, too. Yeah, but maybe they'll learn a lesson this time, guys. It's okay. Right now, Blizzard's the bad guy, okay? CDPR's turns next, okay? They had a couple of bad they had a couple of bad missteps, right? But they still have the Witcher, the whole Witcher everything. is still pretty fucking dope. So they still have some good, there's some, some good karma they could spend, right? They lost a little bit, but then they gained it back. You know, so uh, I have faith. Everything will work out. There you go. Have some faith. Have some faith. They're not the bad guys yet. Okay. Not yet. We'll get there. <laughs> speaking of bad guys, speaking of bad guys, do any of you guys even own a PS5? Every time I talk about PlayStation 5, anything, you guys fucking snooze on me. But I'm going to bring this up anyways, because maybe this will entice you guys to buy one. Ooh, a PS what? You have a PS4 Pro? Yeah. But do you have a PS5 that's jailbroken? So this is recent. Somebody figured out how to jailbreak this so they could load their own bullshit, silo their own bullshit. They actually did do it later on in the video here. Uh, goes through and loads a package here. Something went wrong. Here we go. Downloading a package. Uh, you don't play it, Natalie does. There you go. Yeah, fucking just jailbreak it for whatever reason. I don't know why you do it. <laughs> I buy one if they have any stores. Yeah, you can't even get one. Uh, <clears throat> well, I mean, <laughs> I know it's impossible to find. <laughs> impossible to find uh did you guys see this one horizon zero dawn is getting a remaster maybe it's a rumor rumor that they're gonna get a uh uh is it confirmed i think it's a real i think it's rumor um what makes this hilarious if you're not quite sure yeah exactly wait what why thank you i'm good I'm good it's not just me yeah i know exactly why why <laughs> when did it come out <laughs> I know, man. And there's so many games that can use a remaster. <laughs> four years. I know. Four years. The game was great as is. 
<laughs> Cyberpunk 2077 remaster coming in 2024. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would just be a, a back port of the PC version. Ooh, maybe. Actually, maybe. Um, furthermore, this is actually not, this is actually not uh, specifically uh, uh, PlayStation news here. I guess I have a whole bunch of console stuff here, but this was something that's going around PAX. I don't know if you guys saw this, um, uh, but uh, there's a Kojima production, Sideo Kojima. Um, there's this, where am I? And there was a, yeah, there's this tweet, mysterious tweet that came out let me go zoom out a little bit here where am i it's basically kojima Hideo is uh promoting or leaking a new a new where's waldo game yeah a new game this one uh if there was actually a qr code that uh was visible in uh yeah, let me see here we go the qr code that was visible uh or that was uh at uh pax in australia and that leads to this site where you, this is where you, it's revealed that it is a game that's going to have uh, L fanning in it. So it's 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 clear that Hideo Kojima is going to be working with like big stars and their standalone games and shit. So we're going to be able to play as L fanning. Uh, L fanning is an actress. Uh, one of my favorite movies she's in is actually uh, Neon Demon, which is a fucking weird movie, <laughs> but it's still one of my favorites. Uh, L who L fanning L fanning. Anything interesting in the page source? I'm not going to look there. <laughs> uh, I know who it is. It's Elle Fanning. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what other roles she played, but she's an actress. Um, <clears throat> younger sister of Dakota Fanning. Oh, there you go. There you go. You guys get that? You guys get that? There you go. So anyways, new game coming out. It's going to be another, probably another walking simulator, delivery simulator, something like that. We don't know. Uh, Alf is coming back. What? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Who's the boomer? Huh? I'm older than all you guys. Almost. <laughs> it is this J is it based on the Jackie Chan movie? Who am I? Which which PS has like the same has the same layout. Let's see, Jackie Chan, who am I? The poster is like at the same vertical layout. Oh, I can't never mind. Never mind. The one that I'm looking at now doesn't do it. So just oh there we go. There we go. See? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. Just kidding. Um almost. That was a great Jackie Chan movie. I get them confused with the other ones here. Um, I watched so many Jackie Chan movies. I don't know. I can't tell them apart. Rumble in the Bronx, though. That's the one that stands out. You're saying it's a new Jackie Chan movie. You motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. Jesus Christ. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Some more rumors. More rumors. The Halo franchise. Is Guns here? The Halo franchise uh, could be switching to Unreal Engine 5. They have their own engine called Slipspace that they've been using. This is like, this is actually a huge announcement. <laughs> that probably means shit to most people watching right now, but it's a pretty big fucking announcement if, if true, big if true. Really, it really strongly applies here. Um, if only they make the story. The only year is 20, 20, 2050. There's only one engine. Unreal Unity 7.2. <laughs> so uh, there was talk that they might convert the current game to Unreal Engine 5. That seems super unlikely because, and as Guns put it on Twitter, I saw his response to the uh, one of the tweets talking about this, this rumor, uh, is that they've already had so much lag with putting out Forge uh, which is their map editor, which is like well-known, historically well-known map editor, uh, especially for anybody who plays consoles. Um, <clears throat> and it took a long time just for them to get that, I guess, to get that available for us on uh, for Halo Infinite. And now they're talking about potentially, you know, switching over probably in the future, but probably not currently. That would be a huge shift on, on an existing game. Uh, I'm not sure if a good thing Epic already has too much reaching gaming. Forge, the reason I have Halo, period, exactly. I don't see them sacrificing that now. I agree with guns on this one. Uh, <laughs> uh, not sure, yeah, so Epic already has their hands in so many things gaming. It's true, they do. It's true, they do. It's they, it's them versus Unity. Like, that. that's the, uh, it's no longer Microsoft versus PlayStation, you know, the big green booth and the big blue booth at uh, GDC. It's Unity versus Unreal. Um, who reportedly reported it? People who are familiar with the matters. Source? Trust me, bro. Um, <laughs> Unreal has insanely good mod tools, not really losing anything, but it's still, I mean, you still got to get it there. You still got to get it in there, you know? Like, get, I mean, unless they build a new game on it, that's different, but um, my source is that I made it the fuck up. That's right. Do with it. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, this actually, this just popped up. Uh, let me see. No, this I'll say this for last. I have this post here. Uh, I know that a lot of you guys are are, are VTuber nerds, so. I saw this come up and I thought it was kind of interesting. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? How dare you? Okay. A lot of you guys. <laughs> Nerds. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so he said next week, Mike will do full, full playthrough. What? Okay. Oh, Hey, I, I believe that. Um, so there was this am i the asshole po sorry let me explain what this is so on reddit there's a subreddit called am i the at am i the asshole i'm gonna get it out and what it is is somebody telling some story and they're saying this happened and this person did this you know am i the asshole for reacting like this right yes you are yes i know i know i know but we're not talking about me right now uh and so this one was titled am i the asshole for not letting my daughter use her college fund for a vtuber avatar <laughs> oh carry on so <clears throat> this is a story and we don't know if there's any truth to this or whatever but we know that there's truth to the amount that it costs and the investment that people put in to uh, uh, to things that they don't get a return on, right? So it says, I had saved up 20,000 college fund for my oldest daughter. And then she said she's not going to college. Uh, and she said she's she's working to become a Twitch, a YouTube streamer, uh, a YouTube partner and Twitch streamer. Uh, and uh, it says that, it says, Right here says, I do not agree with the decision by still respect her choices. However, the other day she said that she is hiring someone to make a VTuber model for $2,000 and needs the money for her college fund. Um, I told her that I would not let her spend the money on this. She said that the artist has already started on it and she needs it. She said that it was money that, that, that it was money for her and that she should be allowed to start her career with this. These are fair points and I realize that I may be the asshole. So for 50, you could get started. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. Sounds like nothing was written in a contract. <laughs> uh, wait, you mean with the daughter, the mom and daughter, or you mean the da daughter and the uh, the artist? Probably, she better pick the right artist. If she already has the viewership, that she's doing great. Yes, exactly. Well, she's not. Apparently, she's not a partner yet, and all that stuff. But this, this is this was interesting to me because I knew that it would cost this much. But to be in a position like this where you are new to the industry and you are like, I'm going to make it as a streamer. I want to be a VTuber. And now you're looking at the investment costs uh, to be a, to be a VTuber. You have to put in the cost for like, you know, either the creation of a model, the animation, the rigging. There's all kinds of things that go into making these VTuber models, but it also can be stripped down. You could use like a PNG file and do like the ultimate basic, you know, bendy wavy thing with, you know, something extraordinarily cheap <laughs> uh and and it's plausible right like it's it's it's, it's plausible to do it's, it's reasonable in price too if that's the cost isn't unique to streamers no 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 of course of course it's not yeah of course it's not but this is a new industry vtubers is 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 overall like in the in the in the in the overall like industry like uh gaming and culture and all that stuff and anime culture and all that like vtubers are still fairly new streaming culture i should say still fairly new um Start small. Yeah, exactly. I was just curious. I wanted to see your guys' reactions to this, you know, and then most of you guys are like, no, don't like start small. Start. Yeah, exactly. Good, good, good. Face rig is great for beginners. There you go. There you go. Uh, uh, she better make sure she has a contract because it could cost a lot. Yeah. So yeah, the parents, not the asshole. How big were the, <laughs> doesn't ship watch a bunch of VTubers. He is missing out on such a great topic being at Twitch. I know, I know he's gone. If she has 130 viewers, it'll be worth it. Otherwise, nah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, how much physics are involved? <laughs> uh, she won't be a VTuber for life. Get an education to fall back on. I mean, Raw's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> Uh, I used Facebook while streaming DayZ mod back in the day. Did you really? <laughs> if you start with drugs, don't jump straight to heroin. That's perfect response. Perfect response. There you go. That's exact. That's exact. Put it into words. I couldn't put it in, man. Thank you so much for that. Um, this uh, this is fucking cool. This is just cool shit to end the show with. Where you get the MF Doom shirt? Uh, I think I got this one from Etsy. I think I, I have like a few MF Doom shirts. My favorite bands. I got to get all the shirts, man. It lasts longer. Uh, learning all the important things for li for life today. Yeah, there you go. What you calling drugs? Gateway drugs? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, see, the great thing about YouTubers is that uh, uh, they never age. Just get a new, yeah. Get a new voice actors. Etsy does have some really good shirts. Yeah, yeah. Etsy does have some really good shirts. Yeah, I, I do. Like this one actually worked out pretty good. I mean, some of them, some of them are like look at look at the brand of the shirt too to make sure it fits you right. Like I, I have a I have a kind of a tire thing going. So for me, it's like you know there are certain shirts that are kind of tapered in, and I'm like, uh, like I, I don't taper in. <laughs> I have a bender body, man. It's just whoop. I'm just a fucking cylinder, man. I can't deal with these like tapered shirts. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so uh, this I thought was fucking rad. And I'm sure you guys would probably agree. We could agree on this one. So this guy's got a uh, uh, a tablet. This is an iPad Pro, I think, that is air playing to a uh, Apple TV that's attached to a projector that's pointing down at these 3D 3D printed models in this diorama or this board that he's set up, and he's painting clouds over it, and it's puncturing through basically the uh, uh, um. Uh, uh, the, through the projector and allowing the light to come through. So it looks like fucking clouds. So I saw this, I was like, holy shit, this is fucking awesome for like, uh, for like board games or for like taking minute pictures of miniatures. Or if you're somebody that does work with miniatures, for example, like uh, Warhammer or something like that. Like this is fucking cool. IRL Fog of War. Yeah, absolutely. Any of you guys who do any D&D shit, like this is fucking rad. I see this shit when like, uh, in like photography with models and everything this is the coolest implementation i've seen of the projector fucking cool <clears throat> showcase absolutely just a spotlight yeah you paint and play 40k that's dope uh he actually has a picture he has a picture of his rig here let me scroll down here for you guys let's see yeah, here we go so projector mounted to the ceiling yeah look simple setup this little led light probably doesn't cost that much the projector probably does uh, like a DLP projector or something like that. Probably like 500 to 600 bucks or something. Um, iPad Pro probably costs a good amount of money. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's just fucking cool. Anyways, I'm going to drop this link in here because I know some of you guys are in this. Twitter uh, projectors are expensive. Yes, they can be. Yeah, the technology is all over the place, though. Um, I don't know how it is now, but previously it was like DLP was the best because you could get like true blacks out of it. LCD you don't want because even the even the blacks have a light going through it. So yeah, you want to get yourself like a DLP. I don't know if that technology has changed. I don't know what other technologies are available or whatever, but that's pretty much the way it was, you know, 15 years ago when I was big into projectors and shit. Uh, especially for something for uh, a use like that. 600 bucks, yeah. Reminds me of this cool technology done with the projector. Live height map projection. Ooh. Let me pull this up real quick. Let me see. Oh, I've, oh yeah, I've seen this too. Here at UCLA. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're using sand. They're using sand, and they're and the projector and whatever else they're using is is essentially like filling in the game element or the the topography of everything. It's fucking cool. Never is slow as fuck. It's way faster now. Oh, this is this is 2015. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it Connect? Oh, that's right. Everybody was using Connect for this kind of shit back in the day, huh? Look at that. That's fucking cool, though. IRL God game. There was a game that I played really, really early, like probably 15 Mog or something like that, uh, where I was, um, uh, where I was using uh, or playing a game that was like this, where you basically terraform and all that. Uh, we're, 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 we gotta end the show here. Where are we at? Yeah, let's end the show. But, but still, I'm curious. Let me see. That's enough working now. Okay. <laughs> we'll come back. We gotta end this. We gotta wrap this up. We gotta wrap this up. Let me get on this side so we can whoop. People are using Connects to uh, for cheap motion capture. Yeah, it's crazy. Connect was so good but underutilized. Yep. And now, now we all have a Connect on the back of our phones, pretty much. Isn't that cool? <laughs> all right. Thank you for watching the news again. You guys are the greatest. Thank you, thank you, chat, for being here, for being my man in the fields, man or woman or whatever in the field, Purdue. Transforms it right after that part. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. We'll look, we'll watch it laugh. We'll watch it afterwards. By Elon Tube. Dang, 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 dang. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys. I like beans. Boom, boom, boom.